I want to take a minute to talk about the versatility of triticale. We know triticale is a great choice for silage and hay production, but what else does it lend uh, favorable to choosing triticale over another crop? And this is probably one of the least talked about components that triticale offers, but the grazing aspect is, is probably one of the most favorable uh, for a fall planted uh, grazing, early winter grazing, or late spring grazing. And it's a really good choice when compared to other species because their winter hardiness is generally better than some other species. Um, and then there's also just more biomass and, and better recovery after grazing. This field that I'm standing in currently is actually an oat field, an oat variety that is adapted for this region. Uh, you'll look behind me, there's a lot of dead or, or blank areas. Those blank areas are winter kill. In December, they experienced a pretty significant winter event. Killed a lot of the uh, oat off here. You'll see a little bit of growth, uh, regrowth, a little bit of recovery, and it's really struggling. Uh, so the advantage of a winter triticale is winter hardiness for one and biomass increase. So as we kind of move over here, this is a triticale that was planted at the exact same time. This is pretty indicative of what I would expect to see from a spring biomass production for grazing. This is kind of that time period when you could turn cattle out on this and get quite a few days of grazing on it. Um, or you could just decide at this moment you want to graze it for a short period of time and then let it recover and, and cut some hay off of it. But you'll see the winter hardiness and adaptation of this triticale uh, is, is more advantageous for the grazing. This field has not been grazed. That wasn't the purpose of planting this. We were actually looking to see the differences between the two species side by side in total biomass. And then this is just a great example of choosing a winter hardy triticale over a locally adapted oat.